So uh, my name is uh, Stanik Kolechov, and I'm the uh, founder and CEO of Aave. And uh, this is basically my first uh, so-called like uh, uh, silent DeFi disco. So I hope you guys hear what I'm saying here. Uh, so basically, uh, uh, today's team is pretty much like about flash loans, and I'm not going to go too much details on on uh, what it is in this 15 minutes. But I'm just trying to give you a good overview, like what is a flash loan and how it affects the whole DeFi composability and, and uh, what kind of cool things you can actually uh, do with the, the uh, flash loan. But before going to details, I uh, just want to say a couple of things about Aave. So basically, um, we started uh, with Ethlin a few years ago. So we built first like uh, Ethereum-based lending protocol, uh, and then we pivoted into Aave and launched uh, a month and a half ago. And basically, we have a market size of 25 million uh, of lending and uh, borrowing uh, on, on the uh, Ethereum uh, uh, blockchain. And flash loans are like the uniqueness of our protocols uh, compared basically to other uh, lending protocols out there. And uh, yeah, so a couple of other things about Aave is that uh, we are using Ethereum blockchain is that it's pretty much auditable and uh, it's smart contract based ecosystem so you can see all the transactions there, even the flash loans. So that's the pretty much uh, intro into the uh, uh, what we're doing. Now, general, like the lending space in, in, in DeFi, and what DeFi basically is, is that uh, uh, you're interacting with smart contracts in general, so that means that uh, uh, you're not uh, using any custodial, uh, but instead you're basically interacting with smart contracts and kind of like keeping the control of the assets that you have. And the lending space in DeFi has been like one of the most uh, uh, biggest things out there. I'm pretty sure uh, derivatives such as, for example, uh, Vega and, and, uh, and uh, these guys will become even bigger because those are like derivative markets. But currently like the, the De DeFi space is pretty much uh, based on the whole uh, lending infrastructure. And uh, since we launched, uh, Aave has been growing pretty nicely. And it's pretty nice to see that uh, we have some sort of uh, uh, market size and liquidity. So basically, uh, I'm not a stranger here to talk to you guys. So the, the main thing about like flash loans is that uh, usually when you borrow something in the DeFi space, you're using a collateral. So because the way that you don't have any trust, you always need to put a bit of collateral and you borrow different kinds of uh, assets. So the very typical thing to do is basically to deposit Ether or any other asset that you are long in a position wise and borrow stable coins. And those stable coins you're using, uh, for example, to lever up or, or basically to use as a working capital. And what basically flash loan is and how it uh, differentiates uh, from this like over collateralized uh, lending is that you are basically uh, borrowing 100% under collateralized loans. Uh, but the only restriction here is that you borrow from one Ethereum block. And so the interesting part is that you, you have to borrow and return the loan with the same Ethereum block. And if that is not done, uh, so basically if you borrow in the transaction and your code that you're executing does not return the loan, the transaction gets reverted. Now, uh, the very interesting part here is that uh, it's not actually the, the uh, when you borrow the loan and, and then you return the loan, but what you do in the middle of the whole uh, uh, kind of like a circuit. So once you borrow the loan uncollateralized, uh, you can do all kinds of multiple transactions. Uh, for example, you can trade do arbitrage, uh, you can uh, do different kinds of things, and as many as transactions in between the, the borrowing and re returning the loan, as actually the Ethereum block si size uh, allows you to do. And that basically uh, provides the ability to do different kinds of composability uh, things in DeFi uh, space and uh, where the actual power of the uh, flash loans come. Uh, one of the typical use cases, of course, uh, well, in general, if you think about like flash loans, like, uh, and think about like uh, the attacks recently that we had in BZX and, and, and so forth with the flash loans, uh, we kind of like didn't bring anything new in terms of like uh, attackability uh, on, or how like uh, smart contract based infrastructure should be built. Uh, because in previously, uh, those attacks could be done, for example, if you have that big amount of funds that you can get in flash loans. So basically what flash loans provided to the ecosystem is that you used to have like nerds. So nerds that basically develop different kinds of things uh, or basically try to hack different kinds of things on the, the, on the uh, DeFi space and now you basically have 
nerds with money, and not just money, but like whale-like money. And that's what like the, the whole flash loan uh, kind of like functionality brings into DeFi as a, as a novelty. So uh, there are different things that you can do uh, with, with the flash loan. So they, in essence, when you can just basically borrow and return uh, uh, the loan in one block, so everything that you can actually do with the same Ethereum block, uh, you can basically execute in, in different shape or form. Uh, one example is, for example, arbitraging. So you buy an asset, you borrow a Aave flash loan, and, and for example, uh, USDT or, or DAI, and you basically, uh, uh, you can arbitrage with different currencies in exchange one, uh, decentralized exchange in this case, and sell in the, another exchange to get an arbitrage profit and return the loan. Uh, you can do collateral swap, interest rate, currency swap, uh, self-liquidation. These are kind of a bit of like a buzzword. I'm not going to do, go into too much details, but I'm going to show like a couple of examples, not to confuse you guys too much. I know you guys are already confused because this is like very, uh, very interesting uh, stuff, at least for me, and uh, very uh, uh, economic, right? So we had this kind of like uh, initiative called Arbitrage DAO. So basically, once we launched the flash loans, uh, what happened is that. Uh, uh, Julian uh, from Arbitrage DAO and State Capital, he basically uh, wanted to arbitrage without using any capital. So he created this Arbitrage DAO, a, a basically a bot that uh, uh, borrows from the Aave protocol and, and does arbitrage. So he buys one currency in one marketplace and sells the currency in another marketplace and returns uh, the loan basically in, in the same Ethereum transaction. And everything is done in one particular block. So that's pretty like interesting, very simple use case, how people are using flash loans. And there's like multiple use cases that basically haven't been researched yet. I mean, I I keep hearing ideas all the time and every week there's something new. And I'm pretty sure like there will be a lot of interesting stuff. But to go uh, quickly what's happening here in this particular transaction, I don't know how many of you guys are familiar like how Ethereum works and, and how the transactions work there and, and so forth. But uh, uh, just as I wrap, uh, so basically the guy uh, took a flash loan here from the Aave. Uh, then he basically, uh, he sold uh, one currency against another and basically, uh, well actually both. And then sold in another place the uh, uh, same currency back to the another one and returned the flash loan. So he was arbitraging between two DEXs. Pretty like a simple use case where you are doing arbitrage where you actually don't need any liquidity and those who have done some form of arbitrage, you know that basically to do those transactions you need some sort of a capital. So if you go back, we see like a Julian who's a nerd, now he basically can do things that are like uh, usually available to, to, to people with actual uh, a lot of financial capital. And that's a pretty cool thing and it lowers the uh, threshold for developers to build cool things in the Ethereum space. Uh, collateral swap, so basically in the DeFi space we have different kinds of like uh, lending protocols, and we have, for example, uh, uh, the MakerDAO uh, DAI system. And in DAI, you can collateralize your loan with, for example, uh, Ethereum or BAT. So there's two different kind of assets. And what I noticed when I was uh, brainstorming with Mario Conti uh, from MakerDAO is that basically you can't change those uh, collateral positions that you have uh, in the MakerDAO system. So basically, um, what we realized that actually, when you collateralize your loan with, with uh, one collateral, and you, you mean DAI, and if you have spended that DAI, it's very difficult to actually uh, close your position when you don't have that capital anymore. So basically what you could actually do is that you can take a flash loan, close that uh, particular uh, so-called vault that you have in MakerDAO system, and basically let's say if that, that vault has been collateralized by BAT and open an ETH vault. So basically you can use flash loan liquidity uh, in a system that is completely uh, not related to Aave, and just do this kind of like a collateral swap thing, which is pretty uh, important stuff. And then I asked, like, could someone basically, uh, anyone want to build this? So this is like the the, the, the funky and the, the, the best part of the, the whole DeFi space. So you don't need to yourself to build like everything. You just like, part of the composability is that you build one thing, very key thing, very well, which is basically us like having the lending infrastructure. And then we, I asked uh, like a simply in a very humble way, like, can someone build this thing? And then David came uh, out of nowhere and basically said that, okay, I will give a try, and I tried to build this thing. So he did two swaps between inside of the uh, MakerDAO system where you can swap your collateral from it to bot and to bot to it. 
And then basically what is more funnier is that Fiona, who is less basically involved in the uh, Ethereum blockchain space, uh, came along and, and basically did a, uh, uh, tried the whole system and did a collateral swap as an end user. So this guy is a developer, created a tool on top of Aave, and this girl basically used the tool that this developer created. And that's like the whole part of the composability. And here's the transaction. I'm not going too much into details. It looks very boring, but it's very uh, fascinating. Uh, yeah, so that was my like quick <laughs> talk. And if you want to know more about Flash Loans, uh, you want to talk with us, or you have some interesting ideas, you're a developer, or you just want to come into DeFi and learn more, uh, just scan this QR code, and, and basically that's to our Telegram. We are there all the time. And we can share more information and introduce you other cool stuff that you can do with flash loans and, and the composability of Ethereum. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the uh, DeFi disco. Thank you.